that new grading system. Yeah, and the new system is meant to utilize standard-based grading. Brantley Weatherford is live tonight with more information. Brantley, good evening, sir. Good evening. I'm out here in front of Dothan High School where Principal Singleton told me he looks forward to implementing standard-based grading. Today, Dothan City Schools teachers had training for standard-based grading. The goal was to help give teachers a different look at grading for students. So the state of Alabama provides standards for all courses and standards-based grading is teachers grading assignments based on the standards. The teachers got to hear from Dr. Thomas Gusky, a professor at the University of Louisville, who presented more information on standards-based grading. First, he presented some research on grading and purposes of grading and then went into assessments and what we do when students are not successful on assessments. Um, for example, reteaching if a student is not proficient. One of the things standards-based grading does is separate a grade into different categories rather than having a single grade for an assignment. With those different categories on the report card, it gives you an opportunity to communicate better with the parents um, in regards to items other than just an assessment in a classroom. As for the teachers, Principal Singleton says they're excited about standards-based gradings and look forward to it. Very positive comments, um, very appreciative to, they were very appreciative to have him come in and be able to talk about some things that they had not thought about. Principal Singleton told me they already do a form of standard-based grading, but they haven't just yet applied it to report cards. Reporting live in Dothan, Brantley Weatherford, WDHN. All right, Brantley, thank you for that report. And you know, Ben, it's Friday, so what better thing than to check with the weather and see yeah. what we're 